Good morning and happy Saturday. I just finished editing the Osborne Family Lights dessert party uh, vlog that hopefully you guys already saw, I don't know. But it also had the Star Wars launch bay stuff in there as well. We had a lot of fun yesterday. That was really, really cool. Like. It was a really cool experience to A, do a dessert party, because we'd never done one. Like, we've talked about it a bunch, but we have just not ever done it. And after doing this dessert party, I can honestly tell you that I wouldn't pay to do one. This we were invited to as like a guest of somebody. We're so grateful we didn't have to, you know, buy a ticket or anything like that. It was, it was really cool. But for a normal dessert party, I think it was something like, I want to say 30 or 40 or maybe even $50. And I get that you have what you would have a great spot for the fireworks or for whatever the dessert party is for, but I just don't like dessert that much. I don't know. Like Tim, I'm sure would eat his weight and my weight in desserts, but if it were like an unlimited thing like this was, but I'm just not into sweets like that. If it was a buffet, like a dinner, I would totally buy that in a heartbeat or even like tapas or like appetizers or you know what I mean? Like, like small plate type stuff, but I'm just not a big dessert fan. So I don't think I would buy a ticket to one of those events, but I am so grateful and so thankful that we got to experience it with our friends last night. That was really just, I mean, the coolest thing. And we even met some of you guys there. So that was really cool too. But yeah, so that is my honest opinion on dessert parties in the parks. But like I was saying before, I just finished editing the the vlog, so I'm gonna get some breakfast now. I've actually been editing for about five hours. I started editing at 10 a.m. It is three o'clock now. The video is exporting, um, but I haven't eaten anything. I was trying so hard to get the video up before I like stopped to take a break. So now I'm gonna eat my breakfast finally. And hopefully Tim will be home soon. I totally forgot to show you guys my super exciting breakfast. Two over easy eggs, but I ate most of them. And a sandwich thin. So exciting! Oh my gosh! I can't handle the excitement! Happy Saturday, everybody! Today, I don't know, it's just it's just a Saturday. <laughs> it was a long day at work, but Jen got some Black Friday shopping in the mail. Like she ordered them on Black Friday and they came today. And she wanted to show you what she got. So what'd you get? I got these slippers for like six bucks at Target. Heck yeah. Yeah, check them out. They're really comfortable and they have like a, a hard sole on them. And a sneezy dog. And then inside, they're like lamb's wool or oh. like like super fluffy feeling. Armani approves. Yeah. Oh look, he's stepping in them. He's like, <laughs> I'll put them on. And then I also got these little like, well they're big actually, slipper boots. I don't really like this part. It's like hardware that's supposed to I don't know what it's supposed to do, but I think I'm going to cut it off. But these are um, a brand called Mucklux. Right. And I guess they're pretty expensive normally. These were like $45, but I got them for 17 bucks. Not bad. Yeah, and they're so comfortable. So for Black Friday, all I wanted was like cozy blankets and um, really comfortable slippers. So that's what I got. But we also got like these throws for the couch. And oh, this one that Tim's sitting on. I'm sitting on it. And then we got like a furry one too, but, but it's... I gotta wash it. Yeah. So that was our Black Friday haul. We just got blankets and slippers. Dinner tonight is Tijuana Flats. I got a mega one, a chicken chimichanga. Jen got... Uh, flautas. Chicken flautas. <laughs> that looks awesome. Also, I got this beer, right? But it's called Little Horror of Hops, which is a terrible name for a beer. It should be Little Hops of Horror. Because of the play Little Shop of Horror, because that's the, that's what it should be. Little Little Shop of Horrors. Rick Moranis. Feed me Seymour. Suddenly Seymour. And so it is. It's all rainy out tonight, and it's kind of nasty. But we still wanted to get into the holiday spirit. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a science experiment. So like our. Disney video from yesterday. This is something that we've done before, but something that we've never done before at the same time. So it's very exciting because we have a science experiment that we've done before, but we thought, why not put a little holiday spin on it, right? So that's what we're gonna do tonight. Are you guys excited? Yeah. <laughs> First, you add some milk to a shallow dish. 
because this is a holiday experiment, I'm using green and red. So now I'll add some drops of food coloring. Whatever color you have on hand will work just fine. But I just thought it would be fun to use holiday colors. Hmm. What do you think? Is that good? Yeah, it looks good to me. Okay. So then you're going to want to take your Q-tip and get it pretty saturated in your dish soap. And we're just using this method dish soap. And then you take your saturated Q-tip and watch the magic that happens next. That was pretty awesome. Right? Look how Christmassy. That looks like a Christmas flower. Oh, it's just getting crazier and crazier. Whoa. It's still going. So what you're doing is you're breaking up the surface tension, which was what was holding the food coloring in the spot that it was in. The soap must have something to do with that though. The soap reacts with the lipids in the uh, milk and causes the reaction. You can see it looks like it's flowing almost. Yeah. And those are the lipids running away from the soap, the dish soap, oh, the wow. lipids in the milk. Wow. Well, that turned out a little more awesome than I thought it would, to be honest, you guys. That was a pretty cool looking, Look and it's, it's still, still going. going. Yeah. There must still be pieces of soap in there. Yeah. I, I, think, used, I used kind of a lot of soap. I think the more you saturate the Q-tip, the better reaction you'll have. Awesome. So this is what the original experiment looked like. We used whole milk. But because it's the holidays, we wondered, could you do this experiment with eggnog? Let's see. You guys want to find out with us? We're going to try it right now for the first time ever. We've never done this. I didn't see anything like this on the internet. So I don't know if this will work, but let's try it out. Also, side note, uh, this was the smallest size eggnog they sell at the store. I'm okay with that because I will drink the rest of this eggnog. I and, volunteer. And I won't. Oh, I love eggnog. I do not. <laughs> so now for the holiday version, we're going to try it with eggnog. Let's give it a try. Same setup as before. We're going to put a little bit of eggnog. Oh, goodness, that is a it's lot so thicker thick. than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I think you got to fill it up. Oh, no. Yeah, you okay. need to have it right for the, the experiment. Yeah, yeah. Just is like that. Is that enough? I'm going to try this. There's a little bit on my finger. I'm going to give it a try. Nope, it's gross. Oh, <clears throat> still gross. No okay. way. Eggnog's the best. So, and we're still going to do the same like fun Christmassy colors. So I'm going to do a lot of like reds here. Come on, red. There we go. This looks like black in this though. It really does. It's just so thick. Oh goodness. This is going to be interesting, isn't it? And a little bit of green in here. A little bit of Christmas green. Some, uh, oh, they look exactly the same color. <laughs> I wonder what it's going to look like. I'm excited. Okay, I'm kind of going a little bit crazy here. I made a Christmas blob. <laughs> Here's my prediction. It does have milk in it, so it's going to react the same way. But because it's so thick, I'm interested to see how much it reacts the same way. Are I you going to, I think you're going to have to really saturate your Q-tip. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, I'm letting it soak now. Okay. So here we go. Man, I'm so excited for this. Really saturated. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, super slow motion. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, this is awesome. The colors are definitely coming out. It looks like a Christmas tree, doesn't it? It kind of looks like a snowflake. Should I move it? Maybe. I'm going to move this over here like this. Boom. Yeah. Second snowflake. Oh, this is way cool looking. Yeah. I wonder what would happen if we had done a thinner layer of eggnog. I probably would have worked better. <laughs> like, look at this. Do you see the eggnog like going over top of the colors? Yeah. Let's do it again with a thinner layer. What do you guys think? All right. Yeah, let's do it. Attempt number two, a thinner layer of eggnog, a lot more color dots, and let's get a ton of soap in there. Oh dear. That's a lot of soap. <gasps> Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Boop. <laughs> so it's almost like thicker the design that that it makes is thicker even would you say that these are 
Eggnog fractals all around. <laughs> they are. Is that what yeah. fractals are? These are fractals, yeah. Really? Pretty close to oh, it, at least. Sorry. It's, it's like a snowflake. Yeah. Okay. They're they're sort of fractals because they're they're not geometric, but they're very similar. It sort of looks like coral, even. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't get over it. It looks so neat. Do you know why crabs don't ever give to charity? Because they're shellfish. They're shellfish coral. <laughs> this would be like a really easy little fun science experiment to do. Oh, look at it, look at it, look at it. Yeah. Man, with really with anyone at any age, it just looks so neat. You you don't even need to be a kid or to have kids to do this. It's so cool looking that I would recommend doing this even if you, you know, just for fun. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Totally. This is so insane looking. It looks like a total flower. Oh my gosh, this is just like amazing art. We should really? frame this. I wish I could. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we can. Man, maybe if we let it sit out long enough, it'll dry up. Ugh. And then we can frame it. It might stink. That's okay. That's a, that's a risk I'm willing to take. Mm. Wow, this is so cool. Well, there you have it, you guys. Using eggnog on this milk experiment works. And it gives you a, like a crazy cool result. Yeah, it looks awesome. It looks super Christmassy. You could do it really probably for any holiday if you wanted to, but it looks amazing. So myth busted. <laughs> if any of you guys try this experiment at home with either eggnog or milk, or maybe you have another liquid that you'd like to try it with, totally take pictures if you do it and tweet them at us because we would love to see it or on Instagram as well if you want to tag us on Instagram. Our Twitters are the Gen Tracker and the Tim Tracker. Mine has two ends and we are the same on Instagram, the Gen Tracker and the Tim Tracker. So I hope you guys try it because it's really cool and it was really like, it was really neat and you'll get a different outcome every single time. So every time that you do this, it's like a totally new experience, which is pretty awesome. I kind of want to pour all the rest of this open there. Do it. Okay, I'm doing it. What if nothing happens? It just moves it all out of the way. It does. Now there's just a big blob of soap right in the center. Pretty awesome. Heck yeah. There you go. Now that was a super fun holiday experiment that we did, but I am uh, still very tired after that. So uh, I'm off to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.